What's going on boys? So today EA have released a Moments Verde objective and it looks absolutely unreal. Now my menus are very slow and I mean obviously everyone is trying to get onto the servers right now. So you may actually have to have a look at this dude's in games through Footbin because um, well, no, his in-game, sorry, his, his actual in-game objectives for Footbin, because this is just taking years to load. But whilst this does load, we can multitask, and I'm going to say, boys, if you are new to these objective series, essentially what we do is we go over all of the objectives, I give you guys my tips and tricks that I personally use to speed it up, and then I will build a squad for you guys between maybe 20 and 25,000 coins that you can use to complete this card quite fast. Without further ado, boys, let's get into it, mate. Uh, like I said, we may actually have to have a look at this dude's requirements through our Footbin, because... This is just not loading. So, uh, we, we just knew EA would do this. Uh, we, we knew this would happen. We, we gotta wait. We'll, we'll be back when it's sorted. Or we may actually have to do it through a footbin way. 20 minutes later, and as you can see, I still cannot get in. But what we have found, and big thank you to a website, I'm not sure what the website is, but they did actually, you know, they, they already put like a, a thing out to for, for, for these Verde objectives, right? So we've got all of the requirements that you need for it. Obviously, we're yet to see what the Team of Year Talents friendly game mode does require, so we will have to wait till we go in. But whilst we do wait to load in, you guys will see in the background, I'll keep loading in the requirements for this card you've got venomous verde which is score a volley in the live foot friendly team of the year talents which will obviously have to have a look at the team of the year talents game mode shortly when we can finally load in um but the score of volley is kind of simple i probably would for this one i i'll build up a team for you guys when we can actually get in but i'll go for a 4 3 3 formation so you can have the right wing and the left wing and you can cross it in because obviously to try and score a volley you you need it to come from across essentially because it needs to be in the air and you you're much more likely to get crosses through with your right wings and left wings in a 4-3-3 three, three, than you are a narrow formation, like a 4-1-2-1-2 two, two, narrow, something like that. Um, so I would go for a 4-3-3 three, three, and obviously you just gotta, you gotta volley it in and you gotta time it correctly. Um, I know lots of people do struggle with volleys and instead they accidentally header it. Don't worry, I've been in that position. Um, with volleys, what you can do is if you just press down on the left trigger, not the right trigger, just the left trigger, um, and, and you shoot that, it'll do like a, a skilled shot if you will. So Maybe it's a bicycle, maybe it's a scissors kick, which that will count as a volley, right? A bicycle does count as a volley. So just when the ball is coming to you from across or from a from a corner, something like that, hold down on left trigger and try time it for when he's about to shoot it. You got score three goals using Serie A players in the live foot friendly team of the year talents. Now the score three goals using Serie A players, it is not in secret matches, so happy days, you can get that genuinely done in one game. Win four matches. Easy as, score in 11 separate matches using players with at least 4 star skill moves in the live foot friendly team of year talents. Now the score in 11 separate matches using players with at least 4 star skill moves, your whole front three is going to want to be 4 star skills. You're going to want to have a 4 star skill striker, 4 star skill left wing and a 4 star skill right wing. Assuming you do go for the 4 triple, uh, four double two formation, a 4 three three formation. But overall boys, it genuinely looks like it is just, you know, give a team in, time the volleys, hold down on left trigger when the ball comes to you so you can try and volley it and obviously get the four wins and try and score in 11 separate matches easy as now let's hope that these servers will load anytime soon. Right, so we've had a look at the game mode. Now, shout out to JT11, who actually also uploaded an objectives guide on this. He was able to get into the servers. Now, the game mode requirements is simply at least one club. So, literally, you can use any team, as long as you're not using players from one club, like a full Arsenal, a full Chelsea, a full Tottenham, just as examples, right? As long as you're not using a full squad of one club, you'll be absolutely fine, which not much people will be doing. Now, first of all, I would advise searching for Serie A players in in your club as simple as that now for me obviously we've built a squad as you guys can see it is worth 25,000 coins once again apologies we have to do this through footbin today but this is a squad we have used now we have gone for Rebic as our left mid or our left wing like I said 4-3-3 three, three formation so you can try and get the crosses through we've gone for Rebic Muriel up top with Kiesa on the right all of these attackers have four star skill moves I believe Muriel is four star four star or four star three star Rebic is four star four star and Kiesa I believe is four Four star, three star. For the midfield, we have gone for Barella, we have gone for Tonali, and we have gone for Pellegrini. Pellegrini is definitely not the best one out of the lot. But you've got Tamali as a Tamali Tonali as a more central type of player, and you've got Barella as a box to box centre mid. Defensively, we've gone for Haps at left back. Um, I mean, he'll definitely do the job. 87 pace. I think he's quite little in game as well. He's got some good agility and balance about him, so you'll feel quite good on the ball. We've gone for Gold Tamori, Gold Manales, Lazari at right.
right back who was actually a right wing back if you guys are searching and in there we have just gone for Espina. So this is a full Serie A side and you've got the players with four star, at least four star skill moves, 25,000 coins on the PlayStation market. This squad is what you can use in that uh, team of the year, I think team of the year, rising team, something like that, team of the year stars game mode or I'm pretty sure whatever it's called. Um, but literally the requirements for that game mode or that foot life, foot friendly is genuinely at least one club. So let's hop on, hop on over to the tips. So tip number one is going to be chem styles. So let's take this Muriel card for example. Now as you can see he's currently 1,200 coins on the market. As you can see with chemistry styles, let's shuck a hunter on him. He goes to 98 pace, he goes to 90 shooting in game, 94 finishing, 90 positioning, 87 shot power, 93 volleys. He gets a massive shooting boost and as you can see in game he's an 86 rated striker. So although he's actually 82 rated with a hunter chemistry style on him he's going to perform as if he's an 86 rated. As well let's try in a marksman on him he goes to an 87 rated striker. Uh, his pace of 89 stays the same but he gets a plus 8 shooting to 91 shooting plus 8 dribbling to 94 dribbling and plus Plus six physical to 73 physical now this obviously uh, once again it makes him perform five ratings better than he actually is he'll perform a whole lot better in game as you can see he's an 89 rated left forward as well if you do want to play him there a finisher on him he stays an 87 rated striker plus 10 finishing plus seven dribbling so you guys get it right essentially tip number two is going to just be chemistry styles and that goes for anyone in the team you don't have to go out and buy hunters and shadows because I know they are like three to five thousand coins but let's take Tenali for example he's quite pricey but if you were to chuck an anchor on him there we go he goes to an 80 rated cdm in game so with an anchor he's going to perform three ratings better than you than he actually would being 77 rated and if you guys are playing obviously with this team that might be the extra edge you need to try push you over the line is the chemistry styles now tip number two boys is going to be the bench now the bench you can use any players in your team right you can use your main team on the bench if you want but the literary requirements of the game mode is at least three players and you just need to get like score in 11 separate matches with Serie A players so you could simply just get a Serie A front three and then use your main midfield and main, main defense that you'd use in your main team obviously once again this squad builder is just uh, a cheap one if you guys uh, you know for the community that doesn't have as much value or don't have as good of a team and you're just confused then this is a full Serie A cheap meta side that you can use but obviously if you guys do have available players in your club you could do a full Serie A front line and you literally just use your main team in the midfield and defense but what I will say is tip number two is going to be super subs let's say you've got gold Messi chuck him on the bench you can sub him on straight away there we go perfect gold Messi and as soon as you pause it you can sub him on up there he's got four star skill moves he's not Serie A so you still want to try and score with a Serie A player so you'd probably want to keep Ribic and Muriel on maybe as a super sub uh, okay I don't want to assume you guys have got Hullet because let's be honest not much people do let's, let's say you've got a, a Hullet super sub boom sub him on straight away etc you guys get what I mean but honestly with this one it is relatively easy you can genuinely just use your main team obviously keeping in mind you need to have a Serie A front three and if you guys are stuck you've got literally no team then this is a team that you guys can copy and use for only 25,000 coins ladies it's been your boy Davis hopefully you guys did enjoy once again apologies this was had to be recorded on footbin simply just because you cannot I, I can't get into a service very limited people can um, as well, one more thing, lads, is another is another tip or a heads up is golden goal. Not everyone will be doing golden goal. Keep that in mind, lads. But golden goal, in my opinion, it is definitely something you can do in this game mode. If you've got the free score, like scoring with three different volleys, if you've got that done, then you'll be able to do golden goal because you only have to win four. But basically, golden goal is an unspoken community rule, if you will. If you concede and go one 0 down, you will pause and quit. And if you go one 0 up, your opponent will pause and quit. Not everyone will be doing this. It's not a like you have to do it you know it's not like a have to it's not a must and don't get toxic to others if they do not do that right it is all up to you if you want to do golden goal or not but in my opinion i highly recommend doing golden goal it speeds up the process for every single person involved lads so basically you could play five or six games by the time it will take you to go one you go one nil down pause quit hop into the next one you go one nil up your opponent might pause and quit now my tip for this one is simply make your squad name golden goal now obviously we're on 
foot bin, um, so it doesn't really matter. But if you've got your main team, you can go to the, the squad selector, and then I think it's press Y on Xbox, triangle on PlayStation to change the name, or it might actually be square or X, actually. And what you can do is you can change it to golden goal. So that way, when you do load up and you face a team, your opponent will see your team, you'll see his, he'll notice, all right, his team name is golden goal. That means he'll be doing golden goal, and you can just go from there. Because the scoring in 11 separate matches, you could probably get done in maybe 40 minutes if you do a golden goal. It speeds up the whole process for everyone. Anyway, boys, on that note, just going over it again, cheap squad builder that you guys can use. Um, if you got this is obviously if you guys do not have a team or very limited players in your club, if you're not part of a the, you're part of a more casual community, let's just say that. Uh, but if you don't, you get a Serie A front three with four star skill moves. You can use your main team as a midfield, main team as a defense, and obviously a goalie, golden goal, and chemistry styles. And as well, you can have as much super subs as you want. I hope you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Davis, and until next time, peace out.